All right, welcome back. Uh, another week and another update on my Robinhood portfolio. As you guys can see, today we're up uh, $111. For the week, we are up, up $175. We're down $235 for the month. Three months, we're up $1315. The one year down $671 and overall down $658. All right, so I wanted to give you guys an update on what I've done this past week and also an update on the dividends from last month, from June. So let's take a look at the dividends. I'll give you um, an update on the dividend amounts that I received. So for June, I'll scroll through real quick. Uh, we started off with Wells Fargo, um, as you can see, 440 from uh, UL, Exxon, $1.74. And our monthly, of course, we have uh, five shares. So $1.17. Uh, this is another monthly dividend stock, Stag Industrial, $1.80. Another monthly main. I should pick up some more of those. Um, okay, so I'll scroll through. We have key... Old Republic. Here's another monthly uh, $1.80. Uh, Halliburton. I know they cut their dividend, but they still paid uh, a little bit. So only made $4.50. I think it should have been like around $18. But I hope, hopefully they'll bring it back. Uh, Kraft picked up. Uh, oh, I should get. Uh, I should pick up some more shares. $0.40 cents each. So $0.80. Cents. And um, that's it right there. So I had a total of $21.39 for the month of June. So July is starting off a little strong here. We have UGI. We have Coca-Cola already paid. And I'll show you guys what's coming up. Main, of course, again. Should pick some more of those. Stag again coming up for July. Realty income, $1.17. And of course, PSEC, another dollar eighty. These are all those are the monthlies that are coming in for July. But not bad, twenty one dollars. The goal is a hundred dollars a month. Um, we're all, almost there, I guess you could say. It's moving. All right. So this past week, I did purchase some more AT and T stock, and I'll show you guys. We purchased twenty five shares at. Let me scroll down here. I did pick up 25 shares at $29.10. So that helps the overall um, average cost brought it down a little bit. So I'm up on those uh, 25 shares. So we should pick up a lot more dividends now. I think I'm getting around 15. So next time I should get around almost 30, maybe around $28 just from AT&T. All right, so that's pretty much my update for this week. If you guys have any questions, comments, put them down below. And uh, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you like. Thank you. I'll see you guys next week.